an impossibly beautiful cast, gorgeous Italian landscapes and clothes that probably cost more than my house. The Man From UNCLE is pretty much a feature length Peroni advert. Man From UNCLE is a new film from director Guy Ritchie based on the 60s TV show The Same Name. Now, I've never seen the 60s TV show The Same Name so I can't comment on how this is as an adaption but hey I'll give the movie a go. Let's start with the cast. Right, what on earth kind of genetic lottery did these people win? Seriously, you've got Henry Cavill as Napoleon Solo, Army Hammer as Ilya Kuryakin, Alicia Vikander as the other one, and Elizabeth Debicki as the bad guy. Probably butchered about half of those names. Seriously, just look at them! Peroni Nastro Azzurro, Italy. Which means that you have the most British guy ever playing the most American guy ever, the most American guy ever playing the most Russian guy ever, a Swedish woman playing a German woman, and a French Australian playing an Italian? Yay! The cast bounce off each other well and there's definitely a lot of chemistry there, especially between Cavill and Hammer as the frenemy spies. Alicia Vikander is really good as her character except for the life of me I can't remember what she was called. I was kind of expecting her to do absolutely nothing because all too often in spy films women are just treated as nothing but objects of desire. She's not quite Rebecca Ferguson in Mission Impossible but at least she doesn't just blend into the background. That doesn't forgive though what might possibly be the quickest drunk scene I have ever seen. Seriously, watch her go from zero to completely wasted within a about 20 seconds of drinking half a shot of vodka. What are you, 12? The main reason I was looking forward to The Man From UNCLE before I saw it was its director. I'm a big fan of Guy Ritchie, especially his earlier stuff, and I really like his fast, kinetic style of direction. Especially that thing where the camera zooms in on one spot and then zooms back out and then zooms in somewhere else, all in one shot. The film's pretty slick as a result, and for the most part this works, but it does seem a bit uneven in places. My biggest complaint about this film would be the bad guys. Who are they? What is their motivation? Why are they a threat? How are they all so good looking? Overall, I give The Man From UNCLE three popcorns. It's a perfectly enjoyable spy thriller and you're not going to regret spending your money seeing it in the cinema. However, it's a bit style over substance and the plot is often over convoluted and boring. One thing that I will give it credit for though, gritty seems to be the current buzzword in Hollywood and it just does away with that completely and it's all about fun. Thanks for watching my review of The Man From UNCLE. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the film if you've seen it. If you like this review, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and please subscribe if you're new to my channel. You can also check out my latest reviews by clicking the thumbnails below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.